Arab foreign ministers are discussing the problems their leaders will try to solve when they meet on Tuesday for the Arab summit. Top of the agenda is the war in Syria and how to support the Syrian opposition. We need the Arabs to take a firm position in support of the Syrian people fighting for freedom, dignity and social justice. We praise the efforts of Muadh al-Khatib, leader of the Syrian National Coalition, and we welcome the election of Ghassan Hito as interim prime minister. We look forward to their participation in the summit. Members of several delegations at the meeting said the foreign ministers agreed to grant the opposition representation at the Arab League. That move is expected to be approved by top Arab leaders on Tuesday. But the Arab foreign minister's decision to give Syria's vacant Arab League seat to the Syrian National Coalition was overshadowed by the surprise resignation of Syrian opposition leader Ahmed Muadh al-Khatib. Al-Khatib posted on his Facebook page the reasons why he resigned. He says the Syrian people have been slaughtered for the last two years and the world is just watching. He adds that some parties are trying to control the Syrian people and its revolution. Al-Khatib also criticized the failure of the international community to help Syrians defend themselves. It's not clear if his resignation will affect the war in Syria or the unity of the opposition. And on the ground in Syria, the battle rages on. Activists say the town of Arrastan and Homs was under heavy bombardment by government warplanes. Rockets have also been fired at the center of Damascus where broadcast buildings are located. Elsewhere, civilians continue to die and flee their homes. Omar Saleh, Al Jazeera, Doha.